first pigeon book that I'm going to read by Mo Willems is Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late with an excited mark. So I guess we have to read it like this. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Oh, look, he has a droopy eye. I bet he's tired. Maybe this won't be so difficult anyway. <gasps> look, he's got a little nuffle bunny that he's holding on to. So words and pictures are by Mo Willems. That means Mo Willems is the author and the illustrator. Oh, wait a second. There's a speech bubble and it's pointing here. I don't even see what that speech bubble's pointing to. The pigeon's not saying don't let the pigeon stay up late, that's for sure. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's that bus driver, what do you think? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. It's a cloudy sky. Only the clouds are kind of pinkish, so maybe the sun is setting to make the clouds look pink. Oh, hey, it is the bus driver. Oh my goodness, oh, he's not wearing his uniform. He's wearing his pajamas. Oh, a little, a little cap for a nighttime. Oh good, it's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to go brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. So it is the bus driver saying those words. He's got a little candle. Like, like he doesn't have lights in his house or something. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. Go to bed, right? Go to bed. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? And oh. No? no? <laughs> I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. And oh. How about five more minutes? And what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? Do you ever do this when it's bedtime? Do you ever think, oh, maybe if I just ask for more minutes before I go to bed? Uh oh. Oh. What? What? He's getting sleepy. Uh oh. There always seems to be a page where there's a temper tantrum. Here it goes. You ready? Bouncing, you can tell. Mo Willems does these marks to show that he's bouncing. What else does he do to show that he's like having a little tantrum? His feathers, right? His feathers are flying. And those big words. Oh boy. Oh, and then his beak. His beak is wide open with those lines coming out of it like he's shouting. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. That would take a long time, though. Oh, here's the panel page. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please? It's the middle of the day in, in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. My bunny wants to stay up, too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Time for bed. Do you ever do any of those things? Uh-oh. <gasps> that says, yawn. Oh, my goodness, look at that beak. And the Nuffle Bunny's falling out of his arms. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard oh, last of me. Oh, look at that eyeball. You can tell it's droopy.
Did we do anything really? Oh. Good night. Oh, what's the pigeon? What's the pigeon thinking about? He's thinking about eating hot dogs. Look at that nuffle bunny. They put teeth on him so he could eat the hot dog. There's the nighttime clouds. Now this book had a problem. The problem was, what do we have to do? We had to make sure he doesn't stay up late, right? But what did the pigeon want to do? He wanted to stay up late. So how did the problem get fixed? Pigeon fell asleep, did he? Now, who was in this story? Because this is kind of interesting. Who was in the story? The bus driver. The pigeon. I guess Nuffle Bunny was, but Nuffle Bunny doesn't say anything. And then who else? Whose job was it to make sure that he didn't stay up late? Ours! We were in the book too. Mo Willems puts us in the book to make sure that the pigeon doesn't drive the bus and to make sure the pigeon doesn't stay up late. Right? That's kind of interesting. Well, add another one. And then since the end of that one had the pigeon eating hot dogs, we should read the hot dog one. It says, the pigeon finds a hot dog. Excited mark there. The pigeon finds a hot dog. Words and pictures by Mo Willems, because he is the author and the illustrator. Who sang that? This little head right here. Hmm. It says, with special guest star, the duckling. Hmm. There it is again. The pigeon finds a hot dog. There are a bunch of hot dogs on the inside cover. Mo Willems drew a bunch of them. There's the pigeon's head. Oh, ho, ho, what does he spot? He spies a hot dog on the ground? Ooh, would you pick up a hot dog off the ground? I hope not. The pigeon finds a hot dog. Oh, look, he's flapping his wings. Flap, 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 flap. Ooh, a hot dog. Yummy, 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 yummy. He's excited, and you can tell because his feathers are coming off. Ah, here comes the duckling. He looks back. May I help you? It says Scooby, Scoop, Scoop over in the corner. Is, is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. <sighs> I have a question. I've never had a hot dog before. Hey, I'm, I'm surprised that Mo Willems didn't put a speech bubble around that. Maybe it's because he's saying it very quietly. You know? What what do they taste like? Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. Oh, look at the duckling. He's writing it all down with a gigantic pencil and a notepad. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really... <gasps> Wait a second. What was he going to say? You should really taste mine, right? This hot dog is mine. I found it. Ooh, bucket dipper. What would a bucket filler do? The bucket filler would say, do you want a little taste of it? I'll share Oh, oh, of course. Enjoy. Oh, look at that face. He's like, mm hmm. Go ahead. Ah. Would you say that it tastes like chicken? Look at him, look at him. Can you believe this guy? What? Oh, he put his hot dog down. <gasps> uh oh. This is the page. It's usually the temper tantrum page, right? But he's shouting, you can tell, and there's huge words. It says, 
It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. Look, at this feathers are falling off again. I wonder what that means. Hmm. So it, it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. Oh boy, the shouting page. That's it. Look at that shouting mark coming out of his beak. Look how big his beak. <gasps> Even his eye is turning black, red. Oh, look at the poor duckling. Here's the panel page. It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do you think he should do? I know what I think. I think he should share. What do you think? Share. Oh, look. He's thinking dark thoughts. He's staring right at the poor duckling. I think I've got an idea. What do you think the duckling is thinking? Yep. Yeah. You know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. Hmm. Neat mustard. And there's the back cover. A dog's. There's, there's one little hot dog that looks different. It's a half-eaten hot dog on that page. Who broke it in half? The pigeon and the duckling. So now, there was a problem in this story, too. The problem was, who found the hot dog? Pigeon. But who really kind of wanted a little bit of that hot dog? duckling but he didn't say it he didn't say it but then the pigeon he felt something he felt hmm that panel page showed there's my panel page oh my goodness I can't find it I thought it was near the end oh there it is. It was closer to the end than I thought. The panel page shows that he kind of feels a little bit guilty if he doesn't share it, right? He feels a little bit like, oh, what should I do? So the duckling kind of gave him an idea. I think I have an idea. And what was that idea? What all bucket fillers do? They share. <laughs>